What up YouTube, track and field in full spring. I haven't done a video in a while, but I'm gonna start off by um, talking about the 400 meter indoor. You know, it's been it's been insane, it's been crazy. So Christopher Morales Williams coming out breaking the world record, question mark. We'll get into that in a little bit in the video. But we have Miss Bowl doing her thing and breaking the world record indoor. I watch her videos, or at least the videos I find on YouTube, and she just looks phenomenal. I love her workouts. Um, I don't have an athlete with her stature to try to implement some of the workouts, but maybe I will in the near future. Um, I got a lot of um, short sprinters. But anyway, I want to talk about Christopher Morales Williams 400 meter world record. Um, apparently, it don't count. And why doesn't it not count? From what I've learned and what I've been looking at and researching and watching different YouTube pages and trying to stay away from the comments sometimes you gotta do that sometimes you gotta check out a couple comments and then move on but anyway i was watching um a youtube page that i follow the final leg um if if you never heard of it go follow it he's a he does great great in explaining everything when it comes track and field he spoke about how there was no sensors in the blocks and there was no doping control on site i don't know all the specifics of everything but apparently he did from the video from final leg he did take a Christopher Morales Williams did take a, a test and he did pass that, but because the blocks didn't have a sensor, it can't stand as a world record, um, which I'm just going to say, in my opinion, I thought Michael Norman was a world record holder, but apparently he wasn't either. It goes all the way back to Karan Clement. Um, he ran 44-54. It's a great 400 meter hurdler. If you're a 400 meter hurdler, you probably should go check him out. He was He's the real deal. But a lot of what I'm learning now, I'm, I'm actually doing more research into, you know, why are these world records, you know, why don't they count? Um, I didn't, I knew there are details, as we all know, there's great details and as it should be in, in rules, but I didn't even look into it, you know, so I guess shame on me, or is that shame on me? Let me just say my opinion about all of it, all of it. I don't get into it. Christopher Morales Williams is the world record holder, in my opinion. All the little stuff that the rules and things are, I believe and know they are needed. I'm not mad about the rules, but as a fan of track and field and the sport that I love so much, he is the 400 meter record holder. Morales Williams, he's from Canada. And if you even track his progress over the past, what do you call it, three or four seasons, um, he's he's improved steadily year after year. So for him to come out and do this, I mean, truthfully, I didn't expect to see that time when he was going around the track, but hey, it is what it is. It's my official world record. When people say, what's the world record? I'm going to say him. But obviously, like I said, the World Athletics does not recognize it for that. If you go to the World Athletics website, he is at the top. So that's what I'm going to go with. Phenomenal race. Miss Bowl is doing amazing things. There's so much out here to be excited about. Looking forward to this Paris Olympics. And also we have... A lot of world records just going down um, in this indoor season. It's just phenomenal. I'm gonna make a video shortly on that, and I'm 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 loving it. It seems like everything is changing. Oh yeah, did y'all hear about the Michael Johnson um, partnering with the Alliance Group? Michael Johnson's coming out with um or partnering with a a group to create a new track series. I'm actually just very excited about it. So. I'm looking forward to this season, looking forward to Paris Olympics. Um, I'm excited just to be a part. And now I'm back, you know, coaching and being around young athletes for this season. But the big, I think the biggest thing is me coaching my son, my youngest son. Coach both of them, but being there around him, watching him work hard and watching him develop. He's only 15. Well, actually, as I'm recording this, his birthday's tomorrow, so he'll be 16. So by the time you hear this, happy birthday, Daniel. Um, 16. All right, YouTube, peace out.